Chris and Dominique, since we've been here for several hours now, the winds have definitely picked up the ocean. Look at these waves. They are getting bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger. Spoke with one local man who says that cross there has been there since Ike devastated this area. If you can remember Ike, he says the storm surge came up above that cross. So that gives you an idea of how bad the storm surge could possibly get in this area. And we want to pan over to the right here because there is debris making its way onto the roads. You see the water kind of creeping on as it's splashing onto the roadways there, but the road 87 southbound over there covered in debris spoke with a volunteer firefighter uh, just a minute ago, and he says that road is impassable now. It's going to be shut down soon. Also, catching up with locals here, this is Rodney from Anuak, and he tells me that he's not sticking around very much longer. You, you came down to shoot some pictures, Rodney, but uh, you're not going to be down here. You're going to head home. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay for a little bit and then head back. I just came down to see what the, what the water was doing, how high the surge was, uh, see if it was getting up as bad as they say it was going to be. So... You told me earlier you hoped whoever uh, could leave was able to leave that they got out. Yeah, the, there's folks that are not don't have vehicles and aren't capable of leaving. So they uh, I hope that the, the county or some other entity was able to get them so they could get out uh, because in the eye, it's going to be really bad. Storm surge is going to be tough. So right. Rodney, thank you so much. You You're take welcome. care. Be safe. I just want to show you one last time here what this uh, what these conditions look like near High Island. These waves are just getting bigger and bigger and crashing higher and higher. That cross there, kind of a focal point there, and every time it crashes, you can see the water just coming up onto the roadway here, and that is the concern for many locals. They say they're they're not they're not sticking around. They were here earlier today, just hanging out, watching, putting their feet in the water, but they're heading north. Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Sophia. And not far from Bolivar Peninsula is Winnie, which has a population of roughly 3,000 people. And you can bet they are 